Hello, my name is Johanna with the Great Outdoor Provision Company. I've been with the company for over a decade and I've been a lifelong backpacker and hiker, so I'm more than happy to talk about the stuff. It makes me excited myself to get out and go hiking. So I'm gonna do the best overview I can about socks without getting into it too technically. So what's great about the socks that we have here is primarily our stock is merino wool socks. We have a few options that are a cool max material, but the key is that they're all quick drying materials. You don't want to hike in cotton socks because once they get wet, they stay wet, they stay soggy, they don't have enough puff, you can get blisters, so you want to avoid that. The packaging that you may see on socks can be a little bit misleading. Sometimes they'll say hike, sometimes they'll say trail, sometimes they'll say sport, sometimes they'll say run. That's a little bit of a loose guide, but the more important thing is the height of the sock up on your leg, which is kind of a personal choice, and the thickness of them. So when you're shopping for socks, don't be afraid to really put your hands in there and feel how they feel. So. The more sophisticated socks that are designed for hiking or just anything where you're gonna be putting out a lot of sweat over a long period of time, have these panels in them. Let me find one that's a good example. So here we can have a look at this sock here. So it's thicker in the heel and in the toe. Maybe I can pull it out. It's thicker in the heel and in the toe area than it is through the top of the foot here because those areas are the high friction areas where you're gonna be more likely to get blisters. And so you want a lot of puffiness in there to keep your skin separated from the material inside the shoe, okay? Now, anything that's really thick is good because it can absorb a lot of sweat. <laughs> I know that might sound gross, but that's just, that's the nature of the beast. So if you're hiking all day and you have a very thin sock, it's gonna reach its saturation point pretty quickly. So even though it might be a little bit cooler because it's not as thick, it won't handle your sweat as much. So you do need to get something a little bit thicker. And the thickness of it is a personal choice. This is one of the thicker ones, but you can get something that has the same paneling with concentration here and here that is a little bit thinner all over. So if you come in here and shop for these socks, we're happy to take them out of the package and you can try them on and see how they feel. Uh, what else about socks? Well, we'll talk about the thickness up, up the leg. So if you look at this one, you can see that's just above the ankle. And this particular style does a good job giving you thickness right there to prevent it from sliding underneath your foot because no one likes that. You want your sock to stay up on your foot. So you can do something really low like that if you want to, that's perfectly fine. If you want to do something a little bit taller, you could do one of these. This is called a quarter crew. It comes up a little thicker, excuse me, a little higher on your leg, which is fine. Or you can do something that's a crew sock, like this one, that's gonna come up quite a bit higher on your leg. So the, the higher socks are gonna keep out the dirt and debris from getting inside your shoe, which is an important thing to think about. And you've also got that extra just warmth and protection up there if it is cold outside. So that's a good overview of socks. You're welcome to come in the store anytime and we're happy to answer any questions for you.